Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I want to show you real quick how to make uh, some crock dills tonight. Um, every prepper should have a crock. They're just uh, so versatile. You can use them for making crock dills like I'm doing tonight. You can use them for sauerkraut. You can use them to uh, corn beef or corn venison. So I recommend everybody has a crock. This is my three gallon crock here. It's kind of my most uh, versatile one that I use. And I'm going to show you just real quick here how to make um, crock dills. And I'll uh, Kind of let you look in here. I've already got about a gallon of water in there with uh, some kosher salt in it, and it's about three tablespoons of a non-iodized kosher salt for um, a quart of water, and uh, that's the brine that's going to go on this. And my pickles here are just your uh, basic uh, uh, pickling cukes. Um, I got them cleaned, washed, got the ends cut off of them. If they had any bad spots in them, I cut them out as well. Now I'm going to pack these into the crock with uh, grape leaves. And you can see here, I already got some grape leaves in the bottom. The grape leaves are going to actually add uh, some beneficial bacteria in here, and they're going to help keep the pickles crisp. So now I'm going to just uh, pack these real well in the crock, just like this. nothing fancy now that I got most of my pickles in there I'm gonna add some of my flavorings and what I got here is about uh, 12 cloves of garlic and uh, a couple heads of uh, dill out of my garden that's been uh, washed I'm gonna kind of mix that in there get it all happy and now we're gonna add the rest of our cukes on top that now I'm gonna add the rest of my uh, these are actually my uh, other flavorings I'm gonna put in there and what I got here is I got some uh, mustard seed yeah that's about a tablespoon or so about a tablespoon and a half of uh, dill seed this is also from my garden and about a teaspoon or a little bit less a teaspoon of red pepper flake a couple of allspice and about a tablespoon of uh, black peppercorns and this is just gonna go right in the crock. I'm just going to mix this around real well. Sure get down to the bottom just like that. Now we're going to top this off with more grape leaves. Same thing, these are just regular uh, grape leaves that I took from, uh, from the grape plant and we're going to cover this up just like so. And now I'm going to top it off with uh, more of my brine water. So I got about a gallon, gallon and a half of water in there total with my salt. Remember, you got to use a non-iodized salt, kosher salt is what's in this. And uh, the final thing, wipe my hands off here real quick. Final thing is, is you put a clean plate on the top of this. Get one out of my cupboard here. Take a clean plate like this right here. I'm going to just rinse it off, make sure it's good and clean. And this is going to provide the weight. Dry this off good. And this is going to provide the weight to kind of hold this all down into place, just like so. Clove under the leaves there. Okay. Now this guy here is going to go into a uh, cool place in my house, probably down in the basement, uh, for about five to seven days or so. And uh, by then these should be done. The warmer it is, the less time it takes for them to ferment. And at that point you can keep them in there, but they're going to keep fermenting, or you can transfer them to another uh, container and put them in the refrigerator. But that isn't that many pickles. We're probably going to have them all eaten up. So anyway, I just kind of want to show you guys this real... Uh, quick fermenting thing um, and how to make crock dills tonight. So uh, anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys uh, get a little information, a little entertainment from my videos, and you guys have a great night. Well, I've transferred my crock down to my storeroom. It's just down in the basement. It's a little bit cooler down here, so it'll uh, stretch out the fermentation process a little bit longer. Um, I've got a uh, clean pint can filled with uh, water holding the plate down and now I'm just going to take a clean towel and I'm going to cover this guy up 
and let him do his thing and we'll come back in a couple of days and uh, check on him and see how the pickles are turning out.